Hello, I'm Glenn Rogers, PLA, and I am running for District 7 Supervisor. PLA stands for Professional Landscape Architect. This November election promises to be one of the most important elections in recent history for those that reside in District 7 due to the threat of overdevelopment to one of our community's most cherished open spaces in Park Merced's Garden Apartments. This affordable community is the largest of its kind west of the Mississippi. As a San Francisco native, I remember the profound disappoint disappointment I felt when the classic Fox Theater on Market Street, built in 1929 during the heyday of the movie industry, was torn down and replaced with an office building. Today, I'm afraid I will feel the same disappointment with the destruction of our historically significant Park Merced Garden Apartments, designed by Thomas Church, the father of landscape architecture in the Bay Area. I, Glenn Rogers, will attempt to revisit this approval of the Park Merced development, endeavoring to halt rather than exacerbate already unacceptable levels of congestion on 19th Avenue. With an increase in 17,000 residents and an additional 6,000 parking stalls, this project is car dependent. A free shuttle to BART is not enough incentive to make this project commuter friendly. Other important issues include in my campaign are fire hydrants in San Francisco are not uniform with the rest of California. Should San Francisco experience another catastrophic catastrophic earthquake and fire, visiting firefighters will not have easy access to available water. We need standardized fire hydrants. I would like to begin a discussion about a Department of Public Safety. This is a combination of the police, fire, and emergency services into one department. There could be a cost savings due to a reduction in, debar in department heads and fewer employees required. Presently, this is in existence in the city of Sunnyba Sunnyvale. Park bonds should include maintenance. Currently, they do not. Unfortunately, today when a park is finished, we watch it fall apart before our eyes. Parks and medians should be planted with California natives to provide sustenance for local fauna. Solar windows should be installed in every new building. Older buildings should be retrofitted with solar windows to, to reduce the urban heat island effect in San Francisco. The top of new buildings could have green roofs which could delay and reduce stormwater discharge into the bay as much as 40%. I know many of you have already made up your minds about who you are going to vote for in the District 7 election. As a group, I like the candidates for supervisor who are friendly, bright, and accomplished people. However, I would like to have you look at this race again with a fresh perspective. Ironically, all eight of the candidates for supervisor in District 5 are against the development of Park Merced, while serious candidates in District 7 are for this project. How is this possible? Are supervisor candidates in District 7 lacking political courage? Are they afraid to challenge the status quo? Are they seduced by the very money that makes them considered front runners? Those in District 5, free from the influence, are able to concentrate only on hardship of more traffic on 19th Avenue. In the Citizens United case, we have learned that large sums of money are a hindrance to democracy. Why is it that we do not make the same comparison with a race for supervisor? Instead, the newspapers consider the well-funded candidates to be the most electable, not the most influenced by money. If money buys influence, don't we want candidates that are free thinkers? One more time, I ask you to look at your choice for supervisor. Are you going to pick a free thinking candidate for supervisor for District 7? Are you going to vote for Glenn Rogers? Thank you.